Hi, welcome back to NFT Gaming and for today's video, I'm going to do a video about Sunflower Land. Now, before I start my video, I would like to say to you guys that I am not responsible for your investment. I gotta say this in every single video because some of you guys are still damn stupid stubborn to realize that your money is your own decision. It's not my decision or any other people's decision. So please do take note of that and try not to blame your investment on other people as well. So if you guys do not know yet, Sunflower Land has just released their launch and it's actually on April 7th. Today is 9 April by the way. And I realized that this is a version 2 of the project since version 1 has some issue or I can say that rug pull but I do not know since I'm not in the version 1. I'm trying to play this for one Matic only. So if you guys don't know yet, one Matic is roughly about $1.50 in order for you guys to play this game. Now if you see over here, they're gonna launch the token on April 15th and they're gonna call it SFL instead of SFF in the version 1. So what can you do in this game? You can actually farm, gather and then earn your SFL. I'm gonna show you the gameplay later on so please bear with me on this one. So the next thing that we're gonna take a look is that they can actually craft a limited items and NFTs. So this kind of NFT have a function by itself. For example, they have like you can put Produce three times egg over here or grow your wheat much faster. When Lambo? What the f? Okay, to tell you the truth, this is my first time actually see this <laughs> question where it says when Lambo. I mean, this is a meme question for every NFT games out there since the start of Crypto Blade, if you guys remember that project. So, before you guys actually started to play this game, you will need to join the Discord in order for you to actually start connecting to this farm. However, do remember that you will need at least one Matic for you guys to actually play this game. And you also stated that some of the Matic actually went to the charity. However, I'm not too sure whether that is true but for just one metric you are able to play this game before everyone else so as you can see over here the game is quite simple you just need to harvest so called like this is your sunflower they have a lot of seeds over here over at the shop you can buy the sunflower seed the potato seed pumpkin seed carrot seed and so much more I'm actually quite surprised at this game since they have a lot of content such as the craft the tailor the kitchen the wish and the barn where I think you can grow your chicken. But yeah, basically this game is just farming whatever over here. You are started with five plots of land over here where you can grow your seed and slowly work your way up unlocking this another five plots of land. Which is like for this case, they need some creamy pumpkin soup. So if you go to kitchen over here, you can see this pumpkin soup. So it costs you five pumpkin and 0.3 token so as you can see over the top right over here i have 0 0.02 token so it may take some time before i can even unlock this plot of land however do remember that there won't be any earnings till 15 april also you guys need at least one metric which roughly equates to about $1.50 in order for you guys to play this game so as of right now you can actually expand your land before the main token being launched so i can say that just treat this game as a game and not an nft game at all until the date of their token launch launch then we will see how much is the ROI and whether it's worth to actually invest on those NFTs. So what do you guys think about this game? Do you guys think that this game will actually fail as the version 1 or do you guys think that this game will actually survive and thrive through all the hardship? And of course if you love this kind of content do give me a like and subscribe to my channel. Until then I will see you guys again the next time.